गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द लाइफ टूडे द आइडिया ऑफ गोइंग लाइफ जस्ट एज आई वॉज टेकिंग अ रन ऑन दिस वॉक वे इज बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू समथिंग वी हैव ऑफन डिस्कस्ड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बैकग्राउंड लाइट एज पर द कॉलरेक्स इन सेफ स्पीड रूल नंबर सिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू टूडे प्रैक्टिकली शो यू वॉट डज प्रेजेंस ऑफ बैकग्राउंड लाइट मीन्स एंड वाई इज इट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट इन डेटा माइनिंग सेफ स्पीड नाउ लेट्स टर्न अराउंड द कैमरा एंड लर्न थिंग्स प्रैक्टिकली एज आई टर्न अराउंड द कैमरा can you see these lights how many of you are able to see a vessel moving around here can you see a ship can you see the ship in all these lights that's what background lights are going to do to you so that's a practical example of background lights you see all these lights can anyone sight a vessel moving across in water can anyone see a ship moving across in the water no that's what background lights are going to do to you and that's why they are part of your collision regulations in rule number 6 safe speed that you have to be careful with the background lights now if i zoom in can you see this ship now everybody can see you see that's the ship that's what background lights can do to you you see how difficult it is to see the side lights and the mast head lights that's why back presence of background now i zoom out again now you see so if you are watching a ship from a distance you will not be able to identify especially with a naked eye now imagine it to be a scenario where you guys are keeping a look out now you see and all of a sudden you have been to chart table for a long time and that's why it is said that do not spend too much time during the night uh, behind not looking outside because you see the moment you will come if it is very close you will not even be able to make out that there is a vessel over there and now you see she is as she is moving you cannot see that she is right there if i move the camera you cannot identify but if i zoom in immediately you can identify but still you can see how difficult it is to identify these lights that's why it is said presence of background light in rule number 6 that is what we mean by presence of background lights now further we will allow this vessel to continue moving ahead and we will try and understand what do we mean by overtaking by rule 13 now can you see we, as the vessel is moving ahead we can still see the port side light and the mast head light that means if you ever see this vessel in this aspect in the night that means you can assume you are still crossing you are still crossing why because you are coming up at an angle more than 22.5 degrees is still not more than 22.5 degrees above the beam and you can still see the side light so that means you are still crossing now let us allow this vessel to continue moving and you will see slowly the side light will stop to appear and you will see the stern light when you start to see the stern light that means you are more than 22.5 degrees above the beam now continue to observe you will very soon see that the side light is no more available to be seen so that's when you can say that you are not crossing anymore you are overtaking now now if you see the side light is completely gone you cannot see the side light anymore so if you are coming up at a direction now in this situation you are definitely overtaking do you get my point you cannot see the side light you can only see the stern light and now again coming back to rule 6 it's even more difficult now to identify this vessel why because the background lights are going to affect it even more because the, there is only one light which you can see in the night if you are coming from the stern then that is the stern light so that is what it means by presence of background lights in safe speed can you see how difficult it is to now make out where the vessel is you cannot make out the corresponding aspect the only thing you see is one or two white lights but they are very confusing and especially from a distance you see at this distance you cannot even make out that the vessel is there you see at this distance you cannot make out the and this is not far this is less than 1 km this is half a mile but if we zoom in we can still see something is over there that's why over the night it is very very important especially when you are approaching a port you know to keep in mind the presence of background lights and if you see coming yourself where you can only see the stern light of the vessel at night you can definitely assume you are coming up at a direction more than 22.5 degrees and you can conclude that you are definitely overtaking like i explained to you just a couple of minutes back so that was a very very quick recap of safe speed as i was taking a walk over here on the walkway and i thought that i'll share it with you guys i'll show it to you guys practically the presence and proximity of this harbor is going to allow me to conduct some wonderful practical lives where i will show you as i see vessels moving in and out of hong kong to practically teach you how the side lights they appear how the mast head lights they appear actually in the backdrop of night navigation and why is it so critical to keep a good eye outside the window even till date with presence of all the technology and what have you so remember guys that's why background lights 
a very critical very important from the point of view of rule number 6 but also vis a vis with point of view of practical aspect do you realize with so much of lights and this is not just hong kong any approaching city you will see the coast line completely lit up and you will always find it very difficult to identify the presence of any boy any vessel especially small vessels and filter it out from the disturbance of the background light i'll show you one more example uh, let's see if you can identify let me see if i can get hang of a boy here because it's difficult i don't think so there's a boy in the proximity okay there is a boy over there let's see if you can filter out the boy if you can make out where the boy is exactly can you see the light over there there is a light over there over there if you look into the direction of my finger there is a green light which is flashing again an example of background lights and how difficult it gets to identify the presence of a small craft small boat in the backdrop of a background light you see there is a small boy it's the same boy which i put in the quiz today it's a starboard hand mark okay region a you can see this over there if you see just over my finger there is a small flashing green light that's a that's a starboard hand mark region a but in the presence of background lights it's very very difficult to identify the boy especially if i zoom out you see you cannot make out and at this angle for you there is nothing over there so that's why in night navigation it is very very important that before you arrive in the port and especially for the first time third mates or relatively people with less sea time experience that you accustom yourself very well of how things are when you look at them visually this is very very important you keep asking me what are the tips if you are there always especially when you are going to arrive in a port if the pilot is going to board or if you are already transiting in a port in in coastal waters always show up 10 minutes earlier to your watch because that will give you the time to get accustomed of how things are looking outside especially overlaid on an egg desk you want to absolutely show be absolutely accustomed that what i see on the egg desk visually is i am able to superimpose that image visually outside otherwise once you take over the watch and if it is too much busy you will find it very difficult to make sense of what your eyes see outside the window and overlay it on over the actus information so that was my cue a very short live practical aspect of why the presence of background lights is so important and why it is mentioned categorically in rules of the road rule 6 safe speed presence of background lights so i hope that gives you a better perspective i tried to make it also clear what do we mean by coming up at a direction more than 22.5 degrees i will do one more live sometime next if i see a vessel if, okay one more example guys why i can see one more vessel can you see over there background light again trying to show you the presence can you see one vessel moving over there very very difficult why again background lights but if i zoom in you can clearly see the starboard side light the vessel moving across can you see that that's what we mean a vessel and the background light that's how it affects you that's how it affects now continue to observe this vessel for some time as far as you can see the starboard side light you can assume that the situation is still crossing can you see this vessel you can see the starboard side light so if i'm pursuing in this direction as a vessel and this is the situation this is my vessel heading it's a crossing situation you see because i can see the side light i can see the mast head light it stays as a crossing situation why because i can still see the side light and i'm coming up at a direction less than 22.5 but you will see soon very soon the side light will stop to appear now that's where i am more than 22.5 degrees above the beam i can clearly see only the stern light of the vessel so if this is the situation i am definitely in a overtaking situation not in a crossing situation so this was my cue of practically trying to explain you overtaking situation rule 13 and rule 6 presence of background light uh, lights i hope you have enjoyed the live and if yes do leave a thumbs up to the video as i'm going to save it to allow you to learn practical aspect of navigation and i'll continue to bring such lives in future course of time because <laughs> the presence of this harbor will allow me to allow me to make some amazing amazing live sessions especially with regards to collision regulations where i can practically show you tow and tugs how everything changes with the change in the aspect so on and so forth so in case you have enjoyed the live do leave it a thumbs up do share the live in case you have liked it on your story and let others also get an outreach to the content 
and thanks a lot for supporting all the reels all the contents and for your lovely comment i'll see you on the next live i hope you have enjoyed cheers take care of yourself and stay safe guys i'll see you on the next until such time goodbye it's captain sense signing out and i'll continue with my run take care bye bye